Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nicole with MorningChores.com and today we're going to show you how to transition your plants from indoor seedlings to the garden. It's that time of year where it's time to start planting in the garden. It's an exciting time of year and I thought today would be a great time to show you how to transition those indoor seedlings from the indoors to the outdoors. If you missed our how to plant indoor seedlings as well as how to transplant them to bigger pots, I will link both videos in the description box below. Transitioning your seedlings to the outdoors is a very important step so you don't want to skip out on it. And this is especially true whether you start your own seeds in indoors or you buy starter plants from a greenhouse, nursery, or big box store. Either way, you need to do this transitioning process, the process of hardening off your plants. The first step is planning when to do this. And the best way to do this is to find out what zone you live in because finding out what zone you live in is going to determine what the estimated last frost date in your area is. The best place to find this is the Farmer's Almanac, or if you do a quick Google search, you'll find it very quickly. Hardening off your plants takes roughly one to two weeks, so you can base this timing on the last frost day and begin your hardening off process one week prior to the last frost date, or you can start it one week after the last frost date just to play it safe. The next step is choosing a spot to put your plants outside during the hardening off process. You wanna choose a spot that's not in direct sunlight and also kind of protected from the outer elements, especially wind. You have to remember these are little babies. We wanna make sure that they're not blown around too much because they are fragile, but you do want them to at least be a little bit exposed to the wind so they can strengthen up and get used to being in it. My favorite spot is my back porch. I place my plants on my picnic table and if the sun does get too intense, I have my umbrella that I can put out to provide some shade. You wanna make sure that you approach the hardening off process very slowly. You don't wanna rush it. It's kind of like raising children. You wouldn't wanna just throw your child out in society without teaching them how to take care of themselves and be independent, right? Well, it's the same way with your plants. You wanna slowly integrate them so that when they are ready, they can easily acclimate to the outside environment. As I said earlier, this takes roughly one to two weeks, but you wanna begin by placing your plants outside for maybe an hour or two and just slowly increase that time as they get used to being outside in the sunlight in the elements and you don't notice any changes with the plants themselves you can start increasing that time until they get to the point where they can handle being outside for an entire day it's very important that you bring them in at night but if you want as long as it doesn't get too chilly you could let them stay outside maybe in half an hour to an hour after the sun goes down, after they've gotten used to being outside all day, just to get them used to those cooler temperatures. It's very important that you pay extra close attention to their water. Starter plants tend to get dried out very quickly, especially when they're out in the sunlight, so you may need to check them a little bit more frequently. Keep on top of the water. You don't want your seedlings to get dried out, especially if they're out in the sun. This will cause way too much stress for your plant. They can recover but it's better to not take the risk so make sure that you stay up on top of your watering it's also important that you keep an eye on your plants themselves how are they acclimating are the plants drying out do the plants look droopy uh, maybe there's some yellow spots showing up on the leaves it's always important to examine your plants because your plants will tell you what they need if the leaves start to become crumbly dry it means they need water if the plant becomes droopy either they've gotten too much water or too much sun if they start showing yellow spots they could have gotten too much sun or they may be acquiring some type of disease so definitely keep an eye on your plants check them make sure that they're happy and healthy once the hardening off process is complete and your plants are ready to be outside full time it's time for the fun part and the fun part is planting them in the garden you enjoyed today's video I hope that you found it encouraging and inspires you to get those plants ready to be planted in the garden you can also head over to morningchores.com where you'll find all kinds of information on homesteading DIY gardening and much much more have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time <music>